Good morning, everybody. Hi, everyone. Hey, have you ever had one of those days where nothing goes right? I mean, it starts off with, well, you wake up late. Yep. Then you go to have breakfast and there's no milk for your cereal. Which then the dominoes keep falling because you miss the bus because you're trying to find a different breakfast. Yep. Uh -huh. And once you finally make it to school, you just don't understand what the teacher is saying and it just doesn't add up. And then you feel like your friends are mean to you for no reason. Yeah. That sounds like a terrible, horrible, no good day. It does. But wait, you're only to lunchtime now <gasps> and you realize you forgot your lunch. Oh my goodness. Yeah. And then you get home and find out that your pet chewed up your favorite toy. Oh yeah. From start to finish, your day was just crummy. And mm -hmm. I mean, you just feel like everything and everyone is against you that day. I mean, I've had those type of days before have you yes unfortunately yeah and you know what it's so easy when you're having a day like that to feel really sad and lonely yeah for sure but today's scripture tells us that Jesus is speaking to us when we have those bad days right he's talking to those of us that have entire lives that sometimes even feel that way and he's telling us that God is with us but here are the good news our struggle actually brings us closer to God. Basically, what Jesus is saying in today's passage is, is the world against you? No, because God is with you. Do you feel everyone is mad at you? Well, don't, because God is with you. Do you feel all alone? I don't. No, because God is with you, and we cannot say it enough. God, God is, is with, with you. you. I love it. <laughs> okay, so I think that what we need to do is share the good news with all of our friends. Maybe it's enough just to know that God is with us on our worst days, but maybe we need to know that God is with us all the time. Good days, bad days, whatever. And on those bad days, we need to know that God wants us to help move through these days and make our worst day turn into our best day. And Jesus shows us how to invite God into our daily lives so that no matter how our day is going, we know how to listen for and follow any instructions or reminders that God is offering us. Yeah. And when we do that, we receive God's help. Even on our bad days, we have hope that they can be better. And really, honestly, this is a blessing because our struggles bring us closer to God. And if we're having a great day, we can still choose to receive God's help in the way that Jesus teaches us, right, Debbie? Absolutely. When we do that, we might better see and know how to help those who are having those horrible, rotten, no good, terrible days. Yeah, yeah. Let's pray. Dear God, thank you for Jesus, who shows us how to receive your help and direction so that we know even on our worst days and on our best days that you are with us. We are truly blessed. Amen. Amen. Uh, quick question. Yes. Why? Oh, tomorrow's Valentine's Day, and we wanted to wish you happy Valentine's. And to remind you that God loves you. Yes, he does. Have a great week. Bye, everyone.